Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Hollow Knight Steel Soul Challenge Run. Previously... You know what, I completely forget what we did. I mean, I recorded some Hollow Knight yesterday, but... I actually honestly forget what we did. Never mind, so... <laughs> I know what we're doing this time. Uh, oh, that's right, we got a bunch of money. And, uh, we spent it all. Then we beat up some sleeping bosses. So that's nice. Tonight, we're going to... See what lies to the far east of the City of Tears. So let's head right there. To the King's Station. That's right. Actually, before we do that... I want to actually pop in and visit the Dun Defender. I'm going to drop down a Dream Gate. Right here. You can only have one, so the one in Dirtmouth just disappeared. That's fine by me, though. Let's go see what's up with the Dun Defender, because I suspect something new is up with him. Hello? Oh, there you are! I always get surprised by him. Oh, it's you again. I'm glad to see you return. No, no, please. Don't say a word. I must apologize for my previous behavior. Entirely my fault. I mistook you for one of those mindless skulking husks, yet you bested me in the most majestic knightly fashion. Oh, that tear. You've been to her grove, Isma. I swore I'd visit, but my duties, my oath... Oh, I'm sorry. Ignore me. I'm being foolish. If I'm not careful, I'll sink down into old memories and won't ever come back again. She's a great judge of character, so if she gave you her blessing, you must be something special indeed. I'm barely worthy to be in your presence. He doesn't know that Isma's dead. <laughs> Such joyful, vigorous combat. I'd almost forgotten the feeling. I was once a knight, you see. By the grace of our good king, I stood proudly before the throne, watching Haloness swell to greatness. Then that nasty business with the affliction. We knights defend against the physical, but a formless enemy. How to defeat such a foe? Our king tried in his own way. A cruel means it was. And still, eventually, we, we were brought low. Bah! I shouldn't be so morose. You're invigorating me. It is truly a delight to meet one whose strength can match my own. Go now, mighty warrior of Hallow Nest. You've proven your honor. Good fortune on the path ahead. So, Dun Defender's real name is Ogrim. And, uh, as a former World of Warcraft player, I can't help but think of Ogrim Doomhammer, but what can you do? So there were others... So that's what he thinks when he looks at me, huh? Well, we've already seen some siblings. I wonder how many others there are, truly. Anyway, if we actually, uh, ground pound right here, I believe. Yes, there's a secret. We are deep in the shit. And this is where the Dun Defender, Ogrim, calls home. He actually has some poop sculptures of the other knights. Here's, uh, here, here's himself. This, I believe, is Isma or Yzma, or yeah, Isma. I was thinking of the Disney villain Yzma. Um, this is the one we haven't actually met yet. This is the Gray Mourner, and this is Hegemol, the False Knight. Well, no, the Grub stole Hegemol's armor. That's right. And here, it's a statue of the Pale King, with a king's idol. I'm sure he doesn't mind us taking his poop idol. So, there's more to Dun Defender that will actually be activated once we awake all three dreamers. Or, well, maybe not awake, but visit them and do the thing with them. You'll see. But before we go, let's actually visit the Relic Collector. Because I have an arcane egg to sell him. I wonder what he has to say about that, you know? So, wow, I have a lot. Holy crap, okay. 
Gachale. Wanderer's Journal? It's quite incredible how many of these you've collected. You must have traveled the breadth of the kingdom to accrue such a haul. Velmi Artrit. Velmi Artrit. Oh. And that has looped for that Velmi item. Artrit. And I believe Hallowness Seal has also looped. Gachale. Liasoke. You're a talented collector, all right. The best I've met. If you keep at it, I worry I'll run out of space in the shop. Velmi Artrit. Gachale. Liasoke. Yes, Velmi that Artrit. has indeed been looped. Velmi but I'm pretty sure we still have stuff for the idol and the arcane egg. Velmi Artrit. Velmi Artrit. You have two of them. Alpha. Another king's idol. Have you visited the remnants of his palace? It's down below the city, in the bedrock of the kingdom. Must have been an impressive sight in its time. Now there's nothing left. It's a strange thing, though. There are no signs of conflict around the area. It's as though the whole place just vanished. Velmi Ardred. Morrison? King's Jen. Idol? I've often wondered the true visage of the king. Depictions are of an imposing, gleaming figure and a fiercely horned crown. I suspect there is much embellishment in the imagery, though. A ruler seeking worship tends to hide their blemishes. It would do no good to appear a common bug. Velmi Ardred. Ah, this seems like a simple egg, but it's actually a precious relic from before the birth of Hallownest. I'll, I'll pay you a small fortune for it. Please, sell it to me. Velmi Ardred. An arcane egg, eh? Now this, this is an ancient thing. These relics are the prize of my profession. There is knowledge hidden within, though it's a very difficult, painstaking work to extract. One large understanding can be gleaned, though. This civilization may claim itself the first, but th something else did exist within this place before Hallownest. Each egg offers a narrow glimpse into that forgotten age. Helmadelka. I wonder if he has anything new to say behind the counter. Helmadelka. Nope. Well, it may cost one essence, but I'm just gonna teleport back. Helmadelka. Uh, by not talking to him. There we go. I think that's worth the cost. Besides, we can get another essence from random enemy drops. Now, time to drop down, head to the right. Um, do I have the right charms equipped? Yeah, I'm pretty good with this. So, yes, at this point I can certainly, with no fear, just completely ignore all Geo. I just don't need any at all. Oh, a path up. Uh, two locked doors. Nothing we can do. Oh well. But it's a weird looking place, huh? I have to remember that. Here we are. The Kingdom's Edge. Do you remember how I said that this big room on the left cliffside was like the second largest room in the game? This room here, I think, is the largest. <laughs> but there's one upside, though. Uh, Cornifer is down into the left. We just need to slide down. Hey, buddy. Isn't this a cozy hole? I've been venturing about that wilderness beside here and thought a moment's break was well called for. The landscape's all rather serene this side of the city, though the inhabitants are as uh, ferocious as ever. Heck yeah. I think after this there's only one, no, two more maps to get, yeah. Um, judging by this wall, the city's folk seemed hesitant to build further into these caverns. I wonder what kept them at bay. Yes, I wonder indeed. So if we take a look at the map, yeah, you can see this room so big is technically split into two. It, it goes up again with the screen transition. That's how large it is. So we want 
I think, to head straight down, walk around to the left, then head to the right to that bench pin. Yes, I just do that. Excuse me. Isn't this, uh... Mmm, did I... Did I miss the hole that I need to go into? Don't take that out of context. Wait. No, I think that's actually a one-way, or something. I think it... Um, I know how to get back there. I think that's an alternate way we need to go later. Like, we need to go... In order to get there, we need to go to Deep Nest, and that won't be for a while. So let's head right. These enemies. Precursors to something much worse. <laughs> I'll say that. Man, they're tanky. I have the second best nail. And, um... Oh. Rude. Snuck up on me. And a fragile strength, but they still take two hits. They're pretty annoying, too. They're... At least you can knock them back. And that is what the Mark of Pride is good for. Oh, those enemies. Those are primal aspids, and... Yeah. This, this area just has annoying, strong, powerful, accurate enemies that are fast. This is a dangerous place. It really is. But if you just treat them with respect, you should pull through. Um, I know I said I'll ignore Geo, but these are just so tempting and satisfying. I like the sound effects. Shut up. Wait, I think... Oh, I know where I am. No. So I need some upgrade to get past this. Meanwhile, I should be right here-ish. And I think going left will actually take me upward to the rest of the area. To the uh, Colosseum of Fools. That's probably the arena that Tiso was talking about. No, I want to stick down and to the right, for sure. Because there are exciting things ahead. Oh god. Okay, this thing. I hate this thing. The best way is to dodge and dance underneath it like so, and then swing upward. Or to the side if you can't. Ow. Okay. Yes. That enemy. That enemy type. It gives me so much trouble. It hit me three times. Admittedly, I wasn't really trying to kill it that fast, but... Uh, this place just has nightmarish enemies. It's hard. Difficult. Excruciatingly so. Dashing helps, too. I wouldn't try leading it, honestly, because, yeah, if you try to turn back to swing at its face, you'll get hit. That said, it tries to jump farther based on its distance to you. Invincibility frames on the ground pound can also help. I haven't really talked about it, but the ground pound has a lot. And I mean a lot of invincibility frames. Well, this looks familiar. Hello. <laughs> it's finally Oro. We found the last nail master. <laughs> How did you find me? Down here where the world ends. Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary nail master Oro. It is of the law of the great nail sage that I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy. But no law forbids me from exacting a payment for my time. If you truly wish to train under me, prove it with Geo. Eight hundred? Who do you think I am? I am the richest bug in Hallownest. <laughs> Oro, you oaf. Master the Dash Slash. This one's fun. I'll show it off in a second. Hell is summit. Huh. I must say, you are an excellent pupil. Your skill with the nail and your thirst to become stronger. You remind me of my brothers. I have taught you all I can. Go back into the world, traveler, and leave me to my solitude. Bum. 
Finner. Oh, hey, at least he bows. Brother Mato, in your lonely home at the top of the world, do you still think of me as an enemy? In the future, if you will listen, I will tell you why I chose to tread this path. Bum. Yeah, I see. I can see how some people would assume that's like the crystal peak. Anyway, if you unleash a charge attack while dashing, whew, that sound effect. Uh, very long range. Very long range. I think that's not even including the Mark of Pride. I think it's just like that by default. After all, I don't think Mark of Pride improves the, like this. Yeah, no, that's just the same. Anyway, uh, this weird thing is like some training dummy. It's just filled with leaves, but I don't know where these leaves could have come from. There, there's nothing here. You, it's so weird. Stronger. Brothers. How does a scarecrow have thoughts? I don't know the lore of this. I really don't. Oh, I can smash downwards. Let's do that and fill up on soul before we take the journey. Another. That's giving me a lot of soul. Do I hear a grub? Yes, I do. Where is the grub? No. So, I'm a bit scared. Honestly, when I was thinking of this run, I was thinking ahead to certain places in the game that I might actually die in. And we're coming up on one room that really could kill me if I'm not good enough at it. I'm scared. Oh, it's here. This is it, actually. Okay, don't panic. Did I do it? I think there's a second room just like this with two of those big things. That is very scary to me. Um, let's... I think I was maybe worried for nothing. I don't know yet. Let's see if we can't find that grub. It's a breakable wall. Oh, that. Okay. We'll come back to that little crevice we can enter. Let's get that grub. You're real, right? Home, yes. Be free. Oh, come on. So, this is actually pretty funny. It's completely useless to me, but... Yeah. One ground pound. Two. Some geo. Three. Four. Uh, oh, good. I was about to run out of soul. Five. Suddenly we're in some ancient basin territory, huh? Six. Behold, the world's largest geo chunk. Let's keep track of how much money we're making. So, about 400, roughly. Uh, and that's all that's here. I spent all that soul and time for 400 geo. Now I have to climb all the way back up all that. It's just this weird place, but I really like it. It's a fun secret. Just for how absurd it is. Anyway, I'll see you at the top. There we go. We're back. Let's get some soul. Need to heal up. 
Wow, you can hop on the spikes no problem? That's not fair. Oh, you can pogo on these. That's good. I hear a thing. That's the uh, rancid egg sack. Okay, I know I don't need Geo, but I want to dream nail it. Where is it? What did I miss? <sighs> the things I do for lore. Wait. How do I even get to it? Is there something I can ground pound? I don't know how to get to that sound. Wait, is it above? Oh, you know what? I think it's above, but I can't get back up. Oh, well. It really doesn't matter. Wow. What a cruel trap that was. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, not quite enough to reach. Do you hear buzzing? Look at this strange thing in the background, this big structure, and there's bees! It's bees! Lovely bees. Uh, we'll talk more about this hive a lot later, but for now... Ooh. What's in here? One big dead bug with so many big carved ruined nails. This guy is cool. I don't know a single thing about him, but holy crap. This dude must have been crazy. Like, this isn't even one of the knights. Just who is this? Anyway. The Quick Slash. This, I believe, in my opinion, is the best charm in the game. For a mere three, it allows you to slash much more rapidly with their nail. Oh yeah, the value is insane. I am going to equip that and then never, ever take it off. This guy sought purity, but I don't know what his definition of purity was. Well, thanks for the charm. The best charm in the game. And that, um, all of this is technically optional past Oro, but I wanted that charm because the risk was so worth it. So I should be... Uh, I want to say the path up is to the left. Yes, here it is. Let's progress upwards. Just a bit. The right? Or, no, the left, I mean. I don't know about you, but sometimes I have trouble with what's left and right. Like, there are times where I generally have to make a... F where I have to form an L with my left hand, with my thumb and forefinger, but... <laughs> don't tell anyone I said that. We should be near something pretty cool. Oh, I hear a grub! It should be above me, I want to say. Just the primal aspect of our uh, freaking pit of spikes. Whew. Of course, they're real. Didn't doubt it for a second. I think we might be close to another gift from the Grub Father. Like, beyond Geo, I mean. And I think it might be a good one. I believe we're coming up upon a, upon a bench pretty soon.
Maybe here? Hmm. Oh. Here's a bench. There's a sign pointing upwards. That is a hint to smash the ceiling. I like this cozy tent. I know this is ash and not snow, but it's a cool atmosphere. Uh, never mind the corpses. This ash. Trapped. So, what to exchange? Mark of Pride is too good, especially with the, uh... What's it called? Again, quick Slash, yeah. I'm not giving that up. Fragile Heart, it's carried me and unequipping it alone won't be enough to equip it. So that means I'm gonna toss out Fragile Strength. I am gonna lose a fraction of my raw damage, but my damage per second and soul generation is going to skyrocket. This is more than worth it. Just look at this. Oh, that's good. And once more for comparison, I'll take it off. That's what? Double the speed? It's crazy. Oh yeah, that's never coming off. So good. So what's to the right? We are, yeah, big room. We are right here. I guess there's some stuff to the left that connects there. And then we can head upward to the Colosseum Fools, but what is to the right? A familiar face, that's who. Hornet did speak of finding the grave in Ash. Hey, does this look like kind of like a, a spinal column with some ribs poking down? Is it just me? Hmm. So you'd pursue the deeper truth. It isn't one the weak could bear. Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal, and I'd feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past and claim responsibility for its future. Hornet, round two. She's faster, but it's much the same. She has a few new tricks as well, mostly with some gadgets. Ooh, bigger AoE, and it comes out faster as well. Oh, and she has a counter, but that's that was from last time. She lays traps, we can hit them away to break them. Oh, dash away from the counter. More traps. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was wicked. Um, heal up while I can. Yeah, those traps don't go away either. You need to hit them to get them to go away. Oh, I beat her. Nice. I can actually speak to her, so let's dream nail her first. From where does it draw the strength? So strong. You could do it if you had the will. But could you raise your nail once knowing its tragic conception? And knowing yourself? Then do it, ghost of Hallow Nest. Head onward. Burn that mark upon your shell and claim yourself as king. Okie dokie. Well, well. So, this gaping worm's mouth sure looks familiar, huh? It's almost like the crown of the Pale King, wouldn't you say?
the cast off shell. But where did the insect that emerged from the shell go? That I wonder. Marked by the king's brand, Hallownest shall recognize a new ruler. The kingdom's gates will open. Uh oh, it's collapsing. Let's get out. Oh no, I died. Oh well. Run over. See you at the start. Oh! Well, thanks, Hornet. So... That's that area blocked off forever. Now that we have the king's seal, we can open up the king's door. But where would that be? Actually, uh, I'm just gonna teleport away. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. We are leaving the kingdom's edge. Instead, we are going somewhere else. Immediately. Have a rest. <sighs> Take me to the palace grounds. And actually, I'm going to drop my, uh, I'm going to drop my new marker right here. That'll help in a bit. Oh, oh, you don't even know how much it's gonna help. We still can't do anything with that dead guard, but that can wait. Down. Far down. We need to go very, very far down. Welcome home. <laughs> Mind the fall. Let's try and work our way down as safely as we can. There's a lot of spikes. It's this blank abyss. You guys look familiar. There's a lot of you guys, huh? Uh huh. May have different horns, but these masks are just too similar to ignore, huh? abyss. Welcome home. That's a lot of... That's a lot of siblings. Oh, this one wants to say hello. Get away from me. You can't have my soul. It's mine, you hear? It may be family, but I will use my nail. What's to the left? Something good, I think. In this strange area, with different architecture, oh boy, that looks like a lot of screaming faces, huh? Looks familiar. What if we mimicked it?
consumed the Abyss Shriek. Yep, our Soul Scream is upgraded. Nice. And it's much larger too. Huh, I love it. I love that there's still some white soul mixed in with the black. It makes the colors pop. So, uh, it should be painfully obvious that we are not a bug in this game. Just for the few of you who hadn't caught on. Um, I know exactly what we are. And what all these are. And what the abyss is. And what Hornet meant by our will. But I'll wait until it's been more spelled out. Let's head to the right. Oh, that's not good. That is some eldritch bullshit right there. <laughs> I think those are still technically my siblings, or at least the material my siblings are made of, as well as myself. You may notice, but these things don't grant any soul or geo when you kill them. They don't even leave behind a body. They are truly nothingness. And their darkness actually retreats down into the ground below, if you look closely. So let's try to conserve our soul if we can for emergency heals. They hit for double damage. I forgot about that. <laughs> Up here, it's a lighthouse, and there's actually some soul containers. Very nice. Turn it off? Cannot. My king, I'm sorry. The sea calls. This is a lighthouse. This light that's shining forth should fight back the darkness by a bit. And once you know it, the abyss water is not filled with howling tentacles, so let's see what's over to the right. Oh, well, I can't get past that. There's a shiny there, but... Nope. There's light above. What is this? Oh, it's one of these. Can't get past that either. Oh, well. If only I've had some sort of new power that could get past those obstacles. Okay, that's a Chozo statue. I know this game was inspired by Metroid heavily in many places, but that's a Chozo. Uh, perhaps it's most fitting to put it here because, well, this is home. Absorb the Shade Cloak. In essence, our dash now has invincibility frames and can pass through darkness. And that is pretty flippin' sweet. Okay, yeah. This thing's mind is shielded. I can't even read it. That's how freaky it is. <laughs> Another arcane egg. The Relic Collector will be very happy. So, look closely. 
I can't get an invincibility frame on every single consecutive dodge. There's a cooldown. Once that sound effect happens and the shadow flows back into me, that's when I can get the invincibility again. So there's about two dashes in between. Overpowered, it is not. A useful tool, it is. An imprint of abyss given form. Let's actually read the journal here. There are some interesting things to learn from these. Uh, yeah. So, Shade. This is actually uh, something that we can't see in Steel Soul Mode. This is what we leave behind when we die. So that's just us. Meanwhile... Um, sibling. Fragment of Lingering Will. Oh, we need one more to decipher it. Great. And Void Tendrils. Fragments of Void taking the shape of sharp, thrashing tendrils. The bugs of Hallowness sometimes wondered whether there were other, older, stranger kingdoms deep below them. What strange fancies they had. That's probably why they were always so distracted and easy to kill. Uh, whoops. Yeah, that's all for here. Okay, um, damn it. I want so badly to teleport back to the stag station. That would save me so much time, but you no, know, there's actually something waiting for us if we climb out manually, and that's kind of important, so. Uh, the things I do for content. See you in a moment. Ah, here we are. I thought she'd be here. It faced the void and ascends unscathed. Could it unite such vast darkness? Ghost, I see you faced the place of your birth, and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Though our strength is born of similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny, then, that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong our world's stasis or face the heart of its infection. I'd urge you to take that harder path, but what end may come, the decision rests with you. Yes, we are a vessel, a hollow, empty vessel. Something the Pale King cooked up with his soul magics and soul research to try and contain the light, the infection, the mind-destroying, overriding disease. Because if you have no mind, no soul, no thoughts to corrupt, then you can't be corrupted. Let's return to the stag station. And all those siblings, by the way, are failures. But I suppose we can talk about that at a later time. We are not actually done with the abyss just yet. You may have glimpsed it on our way down, but there is actually a secret involving lifeblood. We need a door to open, and to open that door, we need 15 lifeblood masks. So I am going to equip Joni's Blessing, and if I can, Lifeblood Heart. Okay. How many do I have? Oh, that's a lot. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I have one spare hit of damage. So, let's go find that door and open it with our 15 lifeblood hearts. I feel particularly fragile because I can't heal, but I'll deal. Mm. 
Now, it's uh, to the far left on the left wall. However, it's a bad idea to fall down hugging that wall because it's covered in spikes mostly. So I need to carefully make my way down and identify that that nook where the door is and jump there. Okay, there's a left wall. I don't quite see the butterflies. Okay, remember I don't have a lot of range. I could mess me up quite a bit. Okay, fall down. Careful. Ho, ho. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Don't take damage. Just don't do it. Don't take the damage. Oh. Mm. Can I make it? I can. This is probably the most obscure secret. Bearing the way to a, well, barring the way to an item in the game. Like, there's definitely a, a way more obscure secret, but you don't get anything out of it other than lore. Um, it involves mushrooms, I'll say that much. Lots of spikes. Yeah, uh, we have a platforming challenge ahead of us. And we can't exactly heal ourselves, so. We're kind of just screwed if we take too much damage here. So let's progress very carefully. Mind the drops. Look before we leap. Can you pogo off these? Yeah, you can. Careful now. Um, I think I can just... It... Ooh. Okay. Then fall down, I want to say. Yes, there. Oh. oh! Thread the needle. I hugged left to slide down. That was foolish. <laughs> well, 15 more damage to go before I die. I can always teleport out if things get too nasty. Uh, oh. I should actually drop down to the left. That's much easier. I did it again. God damn it. <laughs> Such a thing as being too careful. Oh, left or right? If we go left, we can see. Hmm. Let's try left. Oh. Okay, that's... That's a crystal dash. I think that actually just skipped a bunch of platforming. Yeah, there's a... Two-way... A one-way wall that we just broke. What is to the right? Oh, an optional shiny. Good. An arcane egg. Oh, that's gonna be some good lore from the Relic Keeper. We have two of them. At last, our ultimate reward. The Lifeblood Core. And it's actually kind enough to teleport us out. That's nice. Let's see what that is. Uh, oh, it's an even stronger Lifeblood Heart. Wait. Uh... Yeah, so Joni's Blessing turns our masks into a lifeblood, but Lifeblood Heart and Lifeblood Core just add additional hearts uh, that don't regenerate. Yeah, that's it. So... Just because I can, I'm going to teleport back. Very good. Let's re-equip our correct charms. I want Mark of Pride and Quick Slash. That'll do. So let's go talk to some people. Let's start with the Relic Keeper. 
Relic Collector. I don't know his name. His actual, like, name as a person. I'm bad at remembering that. Oh, that's right. Speaking of lore, I actually finished out the journal for the siblings, so... Let's take a peek at that real quick. Right at the bottom. Far down below us, beneath the kingdom, the air grows stiller and a sense of emptiness pervades. Can life flourish down there? If so, I will hunt it. Velmi Artrit. Gachail. Another arcane egg. It's a rare chance to own two of these. I'll be the envy of all my colleagues, though my purse is feeling much lighter for it. These eggs are the most desired to find from time before Hollownest, but they're not the only remnant of that age. You may have come upon them, those old statues that seem a store for soul. They too prove its existence, though in a larger, cruder form. Velmi Ardred. Oh, a third arcane egg. You are an exceptional explorer to have found so many. An egg is a perfect protective form. In Hallow Nest, we use stone journals or tablets, our text engraved atop. These eggs are far more secure. Their records are stored within. In fear of damaging the eggs, I'm only able to access the outer layer, but it's clear those in the distant past could somehow access information stored even deeper within. If only I could find a way to do so. Just think of the discoveries to be made. Velmi Ardred. Velmi Ardred. Velmi Ardred. Well, might as well give him these last two journals. Gachail, Leosok, Helmadelka. Now... I do think... It is high time that we went to Dirtmouth. There are two things I can think of that are good for us to get at Dirtmouth, so... See you in a bit. Alright, now that we've found the three Nail Masters, let's return to the person who knows quite a lot about them. Oh. It's his open basement that we unlocked for him with the Merchant's Key. No wonder he had so much stuff down here. So, another would join our group. I have a gift for you, warrior. As a shopkeeper, I admit parting with it for free is rather difficult. But as the great nail sage, I must recognize your skill. You have mastered the arts of my remaining pupils. Now tradition decrees you too may hold the symbol. Mama. Wear it proudly, nail master. You shall be the last to receive its like. The Nail Master's Glory. Excellent. This charm, if I can find it. Um, yeah, it lets you charge up nail arts faster. And it only costs one charm notch. Yeah, yeah, the next time I find a new charm notch, that is going to be equipped. It's, rare, it's very useful. It actually makes them worth using, honestly. Mama. Off you go, Nail Master. I've nothing more to give you. Nothing for free, at least. I'll be up briefly and eager to take your Gia when trade for my precious wares. These refined weapons. The battles of Geo are much deadlier. <laughs> he really does like being a shopkeeper. So, in the Godmaster boss rush DLC, a Sly is actually a boss fight too. <laughs> He's like freaking Yoda from the prequel films. He has this giant nail here that he wields, like it's like five times his size, and he just flips around all crazy and fast. It's ridiculous. He's extremely difficult. Very fitting. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Hi, Bretta. I love you, Bretta. Smooch. Let's pay a visit to the Grub Father. What do you have for me? Well, some Geo I don't need. 
Aw, oh, man, that's it? Really? Dang. I must be so close. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the very next thing we get. Uh, oh well. So, I think that's going to do it for now. Quite the successful video, I would say. Um, and I always phrase that badly. Quite the successful exploration, I would say. And progress, and all that. Man, our charm collection, it's filling out. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Oh, and seven over here at the end with the Grim Child. Yeah, that's pretty good. We must have quite a lot of progress. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if at this rate, once I unlock the ability to see my completion percentage, once we um, do the thing with the three dreamers, then I could be at 100 percent right there and ready to go fight the true final boss and end the run man the end is approaching so next time next time um i'm actually going to do something a bit unexpected i think next time we are not going to return to the kingdom's edge and explore all this upper area with the Colosseum of Fools and all that. No, we're going to let the Colosseum of Fools and the Kingdom's Edge be. Next time, instead, we are going to Deep Nest. Yes, it is time. And when the time comes, I hope you'll join me because Deep Nest is very, very interesting. <laughs> Um, you could actually take a look at these rooms. Yeah, I'll probably go to the Queen Station and see what these rooms are all about. I want to say from here, you can actually drop down and get this mask shard that was there. Some upgrade. Anywho. That's then. For now, I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Hollow Knight Steel Soul Challenge Run. I thank you for watching, and hopefully I will catch you next time. So until then, please... Take care.